of a lion. You got the heart of a sheep. That's part of my diet. I came to rip you apart. This is the part where you best show respect for the God. You got more bullets to dodge. You got more people around you that won't get involved. They don't want none of the smoke. They know I'm coming for blood when I come for that throw like whoa. When I move through these streets, pressure is what I'm applying. I got no love for the ones on the feet. You should just move out my way. I hunt down no money and who's in my way? What do you want me to say? I'm gonna go hard till they lock me away. This year I'm making a killing. That could be money or that could be blood that I'm spilling. That could be more than I'm drilling. Don't, 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 don't catch no feelings. I'm way past the ceiling. I'm up. I'm on top of the world like I'm throwing in my data. I get the check with a whole lot of commas. Keep telling these cowards I ain't for the drama. Everybody, welcome back to another edition of the War Report here on Cloudwing Valley. I'm your host, Faglada the Gashki Tribe, and this is Battle Number Six, Saturday, September 24th, 2022. I do hope that you're enjoying your weekend. Today was intense out there on the battlefield. There were so many things taken. We got a lot to cover tonight. I look forward to showing you all the new improvements. First up, I wanted to cover a few key terms that are used throughout this program. There are some that I made up myself because there's no words for it, so I figured I'd make a word for it. So prestige is the one that is actually in-game. This is the value of the land that you currently own. You can see this by hovering over your, t your town or fief, and it will say prestige this. This is what gets you in the door for those city fights. A claim is now the replacement for the old war score. It is a total accumulation of prestige across all battles. So throughout the whole season, you'll have a seasonal acclaim. And then later on in the night, I got a little surprise for you as a historical acclaim. As in overall, since Cloudwing Valley became its own server and the East went off to go be the East, I have the complete measurements of every house that has survived for their total acclaim. So that's kind of a cool stat to look at. Next up, we have the Renown. So Renown is going to be the value that is measured by prestige gains and losses while the fief is under a single house's control. So while you own a fief, if it goes up or down, it becomes your Renown score for that fief. So that way we can tell who's building fiefs and who's destroying fiefs. And then Triumphs, you all know Triumphs. These are the end of season prizes that you get for owning fiefs, for upgrading fiefs, for capturing stuff. Um, so you'll see a lot of that stuff coming up. Next up, I'm going to take you over to the current events. So, we got two more battles in the Eve of the Storm. Battle 7 is next Tuesday. Max house rank is 6. There are a total of 155 fiefs available. Then on Saturday, battle number 8, October 1st, max house rank increases to 7. So if you've been maxing out your house EXP every single day since the launch, of this season, you can actually hit house rank 7. 
The available feast at that point will be 163. Next up, we take a look at the pol politics or political scene. So we saw Blackwing Guard join Revenant this week. Looking out the alliances of Cloudwing Valley. Up top, we have Vagabonds pulling ahead with 43,850. And yes, I fixed it. So their total acclaim score there. Uh, Yellow Turbans with 31,875. Revenant with 21,450. Followed by Seal Dynasty, 20,715. Hibernia, 10,350. Celtic Knot, 10,050. Sparta, 4,650. Tian Ming, 3,900. Trinity, 3,450. And No Evil, 3,300. Next up, we are going to take a look at the war. Let's head on over to the North Borderlands. This is before the war. And that's after the war. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Pretty much everything. All right. So, in the Northern Borderlands, Zodiac scored five thieves. Muramasa scored a thief. Blackwing Guard scored two thieves. Gallo Glass, two thieves. Hurt, six thieves. Vigilantes, one thief. Warborn, three thieves. And the Cohorts scored four thieves. Let's go ahead and take a look at the south end. Here's where we began, and here's where we ended. Again, a whole lot of changes. So the Partisans gain two fiefs. Here gain four fiefs. Speak gain five fiefs. I Kingdom gain two fiefs. White Wing Watch gain four fiefs. Zodiac gained a fief. Dragger Order gained two fiefs. Black Wing Guard gained a fief. Sodium Chloride took over Pengali, the most fought over fief of all time. And Imperium of Atlas gained two fiefs. Taking a look at the Houses of the Borderlands, there you go. You have Warborn, Warborn I can speak English, I swear, um, with 20% of the Borderlands, 4,350. Hurt with 10%, 2,250. 8% goes to Zodiac, which is 1,650. 1,650 for Vigilantes as well. Then the Legion owns 1,650. I Kingdom with 1,500. Gallo Glass with 1,500. Partisans with 1,350. White Wing Watch with 1,050. Speak with 900. Black Wing Guard with 750. Here with 750. Dranger Order with 600. Relentless with 600. Muramasa with 450. Imperium of Atlas with 300. And Sodium Chloride with 150. Next up, we're going to jump on over to Anadolu. This is before the war. That is after the war. Taking a look at the battles of Anadolu. Leviathan gained three. Nemesis gained three. Goshkia Dub gained one. And Goshkia gained two. Going to take a look on over at the houses of Anadolu. The Legion still owns 28% of the world with 6,950 prestige in their little coffers. Nemesis has 5,600 with 23%. I Kingdom with 3,150, 13%. Partisans with 2,950 with 12%. Goshkia with 2,450, 10%. Goshkia Dub with 1,850. Leviathan with 1,200. And Odin with 250. Now looking at that race for Regionopolis, there are two contenders at the moment, Vagabonds and Hibernia. Um, so one of those two will be early on taking on the cohorts there. Um, I can tell you that it's not going to be Hibernia. All right. So jumping over to Mao Yang. Here's where we began. And here's where we ended. Boom. Yeah. A lot of fighting going down over there. Zodiac gained four fiefs. Radiance gained six fiefs. First Order gained one fief. Hurt gained six fiefs. Macedon gained five fiefs. And Midway Kingdoms came home with seven. Looking at the houses of Mao Yang, you have the Mao Yang Legion owning 42% of the world, most of which is locked behind the uh, house level. 7,410 is their total prestige. Zodiac with 2,145 with 12%. Radiance with 11%, 1,950. Mason on with 1,755, Midway Kings with 1,560, Hurt with 1,365, and First Order with 1,365. Next up, taking a look at the War for Annaling. Yellow Turbans currently has 5,265, more than enough to knock on the door, as does Seal Dynasty. Seal Dynasty is just on their heels with 4,875. 
at this point it's a foot race to see who can either knock the other one down or get in the door first so we'll see how that all plays out let's go ahead and quickly jump over to the movers and shakers top gains and losses by house we have hurt gaining 12 zodiac gaining 10 speak gaining 5 white wing watch gaining 4 here gaining 4 nemesis gaining 3 midway kings with 3 leviathan with 3 warborn with 2 and goshki with 2 over on the biggest losses board we have negative 6 for relentless negative 5 for gallo glass mason on lost 5 dragger order lost 4 black wing guard lost 2 hell spawn lost 2 Fenrir Eternal lost one, and SWAT Team Awesome lost one. Let's see how we did by alliances. Seal Dynasty gained 22. No Evil gained 9. Vagabonds gained 4. Hibernia gained 3. Trinity gained 3. Tian Ming gained 1. Biggest losses of the night. Sparta lost 6. Celtic Nut lost 5. Storm Legion lost 4. And Yellow Termins only came away with one less fief than they started with. So, that brings us to the point where I actually take a breath, and you all get to enter in the, tonight's raffle. So go ahead, CV it now, I'm going to give you about a minute, and then we're going. So type it in, you can spell it, it's just two letters, C and V, like Cloudwing Valley. It's really easy. Huzzah! Hey, thanks, Space Gaming. All right. Slowing down here. I think I'm going to roll it. Let's go ahead and roll it. Oh, man. Huzzah! Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Here we go. Valerius, congratulations. You win tonight's 20 unit EXP cards. I will shoot you over the code after the stream. In the meantime, let's go ahead and roll on through this. Next up, we have rankings. Tonight we have the Fief race, which is house rank sixes. There was only eight houses that made it to house rank six tonight. So Hurt, Zodiac, Radiance, Maston, Goshkia, Midway Kings, Nemesis, and First Order are all the leaders of the pack when it comes to house level. Whichever of these hits rank seven by next Saturday, will have eight new fiefs that only they can assault. Uh, down in the house rank five category, we have Partisans, Leviathan, Vigilantes, I Kingdom, Odin, Relentless, and Warborn. In the house rank four category, we have Dragger Order, Muramasa, Goshke Dub, Hellspawn, Hear, and Speak. Probably you'll see a lot more divide starting to form. Getting to five is fairly easy. After five, it gets really hard. So uh, we'll see how this plays out in the long run. All right, so let's take a look at the top 10 houses. First place, Nemesis of Vagabonds. Prestige is currently 5,600. Level six, purely KC is a leash. 96 is a the population. They have 15,700 seasonal acclaim, negative 150 renown, property value of 290 triumphs. In second place, we have I Kingdom of the Vagabonds. 4,650 prestige, level five. I Secret is a leash. Population is 81. 14,700 total seasonal acclaim, negative 150 renown, property value of 220 triumphs. In third place, we have Warborn of Revenant, 4,350 prestige, level 5. Zilong Yung Cheng is the liege, population is 97, 11,400 seasonal acclaim, renown of negative 150, property value of 200. In fourth place, we have the Partisans of the Vagabonds. 4,300 prestige, level 5, Argalia is the liege, population is 62, 13,450 total seasonal claim, renown is 50, property value of 205 triumphs. Fifth place, Zodiac of Seal Dynasty, 3,795 prestige, level 6, Modex is the liege, population is 97, seasonal claim of 9,230, renown of 880. Property value of 160. In sixth place, we have Hurt of Seal Dynasty, 
3,615. Prestige, level 6, your easy kid is a liege, population 98. 6,010 total seasonal claim, 150 um, renown, and property value of 155 triumphs. In seventh place, we have Goshkia of Hibernia, 2,450 prestige, level is 6, Fogelado is a leash, population is 97, 4,950 total seasonal claim, renown is 0, property value of 135. In eighth place, we have Radiance of the Yellow Turbans, 1,950 prestige, level 6, Hawkeye is a leash, population is 99, 9,000 seasonal claim, renown of negative 150. Property value of 70 triumphs. Next up in ninth place, we have Goshki Dub of Hibernia, 1,850 prestige, level 4, Fuglauder's Liege, population is 91, seasonal claim of 4,350, renown of 50, property value of 110 triumphs. Next up, 10th. Macedon of the Yellow Turbans, 1,755 prestige. Level is 6, Dresden is Liege, population is 95. Seasonal claim of 11,715, renown is negative 150, property value of 65 triumphs. This brings us on over to our final top 20 here. Vigilantes in 11th, Midway Kings in 12th, Gallo Glass 13th, First Order 14th. Uh, Leviathan 15th, White Wing 16th, 17th is Speak, Black Wing Guard is 18, here is 19, and Dragger Order is 20th. Looking at the Alliance board, we have first place Vagabonds with 43,850 seasonal claim, 14,550 prestige, renown of negative 250, property value of 715. Population of 239. Partisans is the lead with Nemesis and the I Kingdom at their side. Second place, Sealed Dynasty, 8,775 prestige. Seasonal acclaim, 20,715. Uh, renowned, 1,615. Property value of 375 triumphs. Population is 284. First order is the lead with Zodiac and Hurt at their side. In third place, Revenant, 6,750, seasonal acclaim of 23,400, renown of zero, property value of 310 triumphs, population of 206, Vigilantes is the lead, Warborn and Blackwing Guard are at their side. Not sure what cat that was. In fourth place, Yellow Turbans, 5,265, um, seasonal acclaim of 31,875, Renown of 150 triumph or 150, property value of 185 triumphs, population of 287. Mason on lead was Radiance and Midway Kings at their side. Fifth place, Hibernia, 4,550 prestige, seasonal claim 10,350, renown of 100, property value of 260 triumphs, population of 284. Goshki is the lead with Goshki Dub and Odin at their side. All right, sixth place, no evil, with 1,650 prestige, seasonal claim 300 or 3,300, renown of zero, property value of 75, population of 235. Speak is the lead with here and C at their side. All right, in seventh place we have Celtic Knot, 1,500 prestige, seasonal claim of 6,000, renown of 300. Property value of 75 triumphs, population is 29, and Gallo Glass is alone in this alliance. Next up in 8th place, pretty sure there's an 8th place, we have Trinity. 1,200 prestige, 3,450 seasonal claim, renown of negative 300. Property value of 60 triumphs, population of 212. Leviathan is the lead with Immortal and Dawnhammer at their side. In ninth place, we have Sparta with 600 prestige. 5,700 is her current seasonal acclaim. Renown of zero, property value of 30 triumphs, population is 90. Relentless is alone in this alliance.
And lastly, in 10th, we have Tian Ming with 450 prestige, 3,900 seasonal acclaim, renown of 150, property value of 25 triumphs, population of 67, where Masa is alone in this alliance. But wait, there are free agents. There are lots of free agents actually right now. We have White Wing Watch with 1,050 prestige, Dragon Order with 600 prestige. Imperium of Atlas with 300 prestige, and Sodium Chloride with 150 prestige. This brings us over to our new Legends of Cloudwing Valley list. So this is a total historical acclaim rankings. So this is overall since Cloudwing Valley became Cloudwing Valley, Radiance currently leads the top with 1,092,675 total influence over the course of the entire history of Cloudwing Valley. Mason in second with 472,635. In third, Goshkyu with 310,500. Midway Kings in fourth, 283,990. Hurt in fifth, 240,485. First Order, sixth, 2, or 238,950. Warborn, 226,110. Nemesis, 189,510. Atlas, with 172,265. And Murder, in 10th, with 161,870. So, this is overall. So, even the guys that are gone now, like Atlas and Murder, both are retired. I mean, Atlas is kind of back in this new fashion, but. This was what they were, and this is where they ranked. So this is what you have to climb to. So uh, you know what you got to do. You got to get there. All right. So let's take a look at the economics of the situation here. So right up top, we have the top 10 fief builders. Kind of change the look of this. Zodiac is currently leading the top fief builders with 880 renown. First order and second with 585 renown. Manway Kings with 450 renown. Vigilantes with 300 renown. Gallo Glass with 300 renown, Hurt 150, Muramasa with 150, Partisans with 50, Goshki Dub with 50, and Odin with 50. Next up, we are going to take a little look at the most prestigious fiefs. Currently, Bolin is your 60% bonus reward fief, owned by Goshki Dub. In the uh, Fief Level 5 category, which gives you a 20% bonus reward, you have Crescentius, Kashgar, Asternopolis, Bridia, Jadoli, Marsakota, and Resindia. Over in the Fief Level 4, that's 10% bonus re reward, you have Fort Hypate, Anagokli, Anakuras, Basindia, Dar, Lystra, Oyan, Eva, uh, Scythius, I would say, uh, Shojin, Salonta, Whalewind, Zedeni, Zulong, and Haragana. So you got a lot of options for that 10% bonus reward category. So, how does the Borderlands look? Yep, I updated the skin a little here too. So, 90% is owned by Free Houses currently, 10% by Legions. It's a 6,600 above flatlined, so it's devastated, but it's growing. It's, it's getting better as the season progresses. It should grow a little. Average fort is three, average town is three, average village is one. Currently, the renowned builders of the Borderlands have been Midway Kings with 450 while they were there, Gallo Glass with 300, Vigilantes with 300, Murmasa with 150, and Hurt with 150. Looking at the top fortified strongholds right now, you have Bridia at rank five, owned by the Partisans. Top growing villages, they're all rank one, so pick one, anyone. All right, so Fief Quests, if you still have Fief Quests to do, right now the best player EXP you're going to get in the Borderlands is at Bridia, 3,600 per turn in for two barbs. Top honor gains, you have a tie, either Whalewind or Dar, you can deliver one epic artillery for 660 honor. Top house EXP quests, those regional exotic quests are your best bet. Bridia is your best bet in region. So that's 240 house EXP per turn in. So if you're still working on that, that's where you go. Taking a look at Anadolu, there's 88% free houses, 12% legion. It's 9,850 above flatlined. 
the average fort level is four, average town level is four, average village is one. Top renowned builders right now we have Odin, Partisans, and Goshka Dub all with 50. Top fortified strongholds we have Bolin by Goshka Dub with level seven. It's a great place to turn in some thief quests. Top growing villages we have Merdiba, Castellanovo, uh, Itz, and all rank three. And then we have a bunch of rank twos in the region too. So you got lots of options to choose from. Take a look at those thief quests, the top player EXPs. Now this was as of Sunday, so now that they've been leveled up and stuff, things have changed a little. So always check the things to see if it's gone up or down. It might have changed this, but 400 or 4,800 player EXP per turn in for those rare Rebel Cavalry kits over at Bolin. Abritus has the 720 honor value epic artillery quest, as does Residina. The top house XP quest, Bolin has 320 house EXP per turn in over there. So definitely a good place to go drop off if you're trying to get that house EXP up. All right, let's jump on over to Mao Yang quickly. Currently sitting at 67% free houses, 33% legion, 2,145 above board. Everything was one to begin with, so it's quite some good growth here. Average fort level is three, average town level is two, average village level is one. Top renowned builders right now, Zodiac with 780, first order with 585. Top fortified stronghold is Kashgar at rank five. Top growing village is Akhtai, and all of the rest, all rank one. We'll see some rank twos eventually, but they're hard to, to keep up. All right, so top thief quest in region. This was as of Sunday. Barbs to common, 3,000 player EXP. Top honor gains was new rebel officer belongings. That's pretty much any, you know, of the ranged or melee kits. You take those 100 over there to Kongxi and get 200 honor for that. You can also take five horses and go to Common or Kashgar with those same five horses, the Coursers. Lots of options for those 200 honor quests. Top house EXP quests, um, pretty much anywhere that has regional exotics will be 200 base. So there aren't any real bonuses over there, so you're just looking at that. All right, so that brings us to our community slide. Feel free to join me over on discord.gg slash cbcv. If you'd ever like to know some data or if you want something in particular, please feel free to reach out to me and let me know. I'd love to keep adapting this to what you guys want, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed everything that I changed. I will try to keep it down. I mean, we're still under the half an hour length mark, so just by two minutes. I'm trying not to go over that. I want this quick and easy for you all. So I'll see you all later. Have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you next time.